Oh, dear students, now we will see equivalent circuit of a semiconductor diode. Equivalent circuit. Equivalent circuit. See if you are having a diode like this. This diode will be equivalent to say you are having a switch. There will be a switch. You will be having a barrier potential and you will be having a resistance so this will be a switch this will be a barrier potential and this will be a resistance now this will be your equivalent circuit of a diode okay now why we have shown this switch and barrier potential because say for example if you forward bias it if this diode is forward biased okay this is the applied voltage between positive is connected to the anode and negative is connected to the cathode it is forward biased in this case the diode will start a conducting once the input voltage is more than the potential barrier that is 0.3 volt in germanium and 0.7 volt in silicon okay now in that case the switch will be closed this will be closed and this voltage whatever you are applying whatever you are applying this voltage across the diode should be barrier voltage plus whatever current is flowing into the resistance I into R. So if that much voltage is reached the switch will be closed and the diode starts conducting. Similarly if the applied voltage becomes opposite if it is like this say this is the diode and negative is connected to anode and positive is connected to cathode then it is reverse bias in a reverse bias case there will be no forward current in that case we can show this switch as an open switch this switch will be open now in that case you can say the diode is open okay so this is the equivalent circuit of your semiconductor diode which says that a switch a potential barrier and an internal uh, resistance combine together to form a semiconductor or diode and the switch is operating such that when the diode is forward bias it will be closed and when the diode is reverse bias it will be open okay and this potential barrier has to always be overcome if you want to make the diode to conduct okay it will be 0.3 volt in case of germanium and 0.7 volt in case of silicon and this is your internal R resistance of your diode which will be almost zero when it is forward biased and which will be high when it is reverse biased.